what's going on guys merry christmas happy holidays and welcome back to the channel as you can see clearly we're doing something a little bit different um today we are doing a mini um hometown home tea hero christmas tournament i'm gonna call it the uh home tea hero christmas extravaganza um it's gonna be me and a few other youtubers i know obviously i'm doing it but um i think punch greens plans on doing it ba bowden possibly Rockstar Golf and maybe Scott Hogan as well. I reached out to a few other people that I've had matches with before in the past um, just to see if anyone wanted to join it. And there's a few that are still up in the air as of the recording of this, but um, basically the idea was that I have for this is I wanted to uh, schedule something for Christmas day and try to get um, as many YouTubers together as I can to do a mini tournament and just see um, whoever can put up the best score um, at one particular course. So ideally I wanted to do somewhere in the North Pole of Alaska, but um, as you can imagine, they don't have any 18-hole courses there. So we opted for the most northern, or at least one of, but um, depending on the Google searches that you do, the most northern course in the world, which, as you can see in the title and on screen, is called Tromso, I believe it is, Golf Park in Norway. Um, this is the furthest north 18-hole course, so we figured that would be fitting for Christmas. But... Um, as you can imagine, I'm a little bit restricted swinging. I might have to lose the hood and uh, the Yeti top at some point. Hopefully the audio and everything is all right, but um, we're gonna give it a go. There's two tee box options. I'm playing from the furthest back tees. Um, some of the other people that have higher handicaps are gonna be playing from the forward tees. And just uh, figured we'd do something little fun, kind of goofy for you guys for Christmas. And uh, whoever shoots the best score gets the bragging rights and wins. So, um, like usual, Garmin Pro Char 10 behind me on a DIY level stand, Country Club Elite mat, my DIY stance mat over here with the artificial turf tiles, 10 by 7 nets, um, and home to here that you're seeing on screen. Can't really tell, I'm wearing a hat, that bomber hat that I usually wear underneath this plus this hood. I'm probably screaming and my neighbors probably think I lost my mind, which I may have, but um, we're going to give it a go and see how, how well we can play back here with the uh, old Yeti suit on. Unfortunately, I didn't have a full Santa suit. I would have preferred that, but it kind of is what it is. But let's get into it. First hole, we've got a par 5, 493 yards. Pretty far, looking like a dog leg left. Um, we're going to aim right down the middle there, up 5 yards. So we'll see if we can get off to a decent start here. Decent chance I rip this thing over the course of these 18 holes, but... Hopefully not. Feeling a little tight in the backside area in my back when I swing, but we're gonna try our best here. Decent swing, started it right. I don't know if it's gonna come back a whole lot, but should be out there. Definitely felt slower and more restricted with the suit, but that's kind of gonna be the story of today. And like you've seen in the other rounds with the colder weather out here, everything is gonna be probably a half a club, if not a full club short. I'll start with my stock yardages and then we'll see if I start leaving everything short. Um, I'll start with clubbing up a half a club if I can, depending on the yardage. And then most likely if I get fatigued here, start going with the full club. Uh. All right, everything looks to be all right, tech-wise. I'm gonna keep an eye on these Callaway Super Fastballs, make sure I don't crack them. If I do, I got a few more that I can switch out with, but second shot here into this green. We've got 250 home. Um, luckily, we're in the fairway, so I'm gonna go three hybrid. We'll see how much distance I can get out of this. Usually, I play it on a regular golf season type day, anywhere from 250, 260. On occasion, I get it up to 270, but don't think that'll happen here. I'll take anything about 230 plus right now, relatively straight if I can. Hoping to put up something just around even par by the end of these 18 holes. Struck a decent, started left, hopefully it fades. Otherwise, we might be messing with those trees. Oh, it's bouncing. Oh, no. There's a, that's a hazard area. Well, that's a drop stroke. That's tough. All right. Um, not sure if we caught one of those trees on the way by, too, but 46 yards left. 
up one. We got 47, plus we'll add another five to that because we're in the rough um, for the 10%. So we're looking at 52-ish. I'm gonna go 52 degree for a 52 yard shot. We'll see if we can get inside that inner circle and make up for that drop stroke. Hopefully, bare minimum, we get this on the green. Uh, caught it heavy. That hopefully catches the front side of the green. That might be short. Yep. Pretty bad swing there. Rough start with the Yeti suit. I think it's a Yeti. A bomb of a snowman, something like that. Alright. Well, this is going to be an ugly start. 19 yards left um, in the rough. We'll add another two. So we're looking at 21 ish. Going 60 degree. Pulled it a tad left. I don't know if that was 20 yards. That might be still a little short. Yeah, 10 yards. That was probably, in my opinion, a little shorter than that. Or it was a little longer than that, rather. But yikes, double bogey to start it off. Only hit nine irons, a few nine irons, like usual. I'm kind of in a crunch for time today, so not as thorough of a warm up as I like to do. But I'd assume to get used to everything that's going on today, it might take me a good four or five holes to get warmed up. But all right, not the start we were looking for. Two over through one. Second hole, par four, 319. A little bit of a dog leg right. So we're gonna aim up there. I was not expecting. I actually struck that hybrid decent. I was not expecting a hazard area up there. That was unfortunate. Good news is this Yeti suit is actually pretty warm. Club twisted when I hit that. That was wide open. That's gonna be right and not very far. Jeez, 219 yards. This is this is ugly, folks. So far, grab some Gatorade and coffee. Think about the mess that we're making out of this course so far. All right, I actually got a sweat going underneath this. 102 left, down two, so we're at 100, plus we'll add another 10 yards, 11 yards, because um, we're in the rough, so we're looking at 110, 111, something like that. Just gonna go choke down pitching wedge. Let's see if we can flight something into this green. Get out of here with a par. It was straight, it's gonna fade a little bit, but that was thin. All right, what's going on here? That was definitely further than 56 yards. I'm just gonna double check my weather settings. All right, they're normal. 5,300 feet, 65, 85, I don't know. Not sure what's going on here. That was, again, further than that, I would believe, but um, same thing happened with those wedge shots at the beginning. All right, third shot. We got 46 yards, down one, 45, plus we'll add another. We'll call it five, so we're right at 50. I'm gonna go 52 degree again. Maybe I'm just not swinging as freely with the suit. Ah, that was heavy and left. And that one comes up long. Well, we're on the green. Maybe the R10 doesn't like my Yeti suit. Bogey? Jeez. Well, at least we're going in the right direction. Third hole, par three. We've got... 
161 down one so that would usually be kind of a stronger end of a nine iron i'm gonna go smooth eight instead grab the extra club and we'll see if we can stick this green and kind of get the ball rolling here with some better scores That's going to be left. Long left at that. That's right around where I would see my regular 8 iron. Usually I play it to about 170, 175. So I struck it decent. Usually with a, a pull or a draw, you get some more distance on it. But not exactly what we were looking for. We got to get this on the green and inside the inner circle here. Scrape out a par. So we got 18 yards, we'll add another, we'll call it two yards. Um, so right around 20, we're gonna go 60 degree. A little bit left again, but, all right, we're in there. I did play two rounds back here yesterday and I worked out after that so not exactly the freshest but again hopefully after the first few holes maybe it's going to take me the whole front nine to get used to uh, what's going on today but we're three over through three bogey golf we're going to start getting some more pars and birdies here and it all starts with a good tee shot so par four 349 relatively straight That was low on the cuff face and it's going to be headed left, but at least we didn't completely lose the cuff face when I made contact with that. 260 in the fairway, we'll take it. Back might be loosening up finally. 89 yards left, down four, so we're looking right at 85. Um, going to go choke down pitching wedge, see if we can dial up 80, 85 yard shot here. Pushed it right. Might be a little long as well. Sit. All right. Still feel like there might have been a few misreads there on the first two holes, but maybe I just wasn't swinging super quick and I wasn't going after it as much as I am now. We'll take the par. planning on doing Christmas music in the background of this one, so hopefully you guys are enjoying that. I'm not the best editor, um, but maybe I can do some kind of Christmassy theme, kind of overlay things. We'll see. All right, fifth hole, par three. Still three over. 124 down once. We're at 123. I think I'm going to go full pitching wedge. Usually that's about 135, 140, but I'm thinking with temperature and everything else as you guys have heard me say the past few rounds half a club club short five to ten yards that should be a decent yardage I would think if we strike it well here oh that was really really thin that's gonna have to get down that's gonna be way off the back terrible hopefully that's not a penalty <sighs> Struggle bus. All right, 19 yards. Add another two because we're in the rough. So 21, going 60 degree. Hey.
hit a decent butt. Hit the top of the net and went over. All right, we'll take that. Have to get that after. I'm gonna switch out to a brand new ball. Maybe that will uh, change things for us here. I'll blame the ball for the rough start. If I don't get things going here, I'm gonna be leaving the door open for uh, the other lads that are gonna be playing this. So, six hole par three, 153 down to two. Hmm. So that would usually be stock nine. I thinned that other one pretty bad. And I hit my eight about 170. So I'll stick with the nine. We'll see what happens. No water. We got a bunch of pine trees, as you would imagine. It'd be pretty funny if uh, Garmin was able to put like snow or something on the course. All right, Let's see if we can get it there with the nine. Hit it pretty good. Might fade a little bit. Hopefully it catches the front. All right, we'll take that. just noticed I don't know if you guys can see this I warm up with my nine iron out here I just this is the first time I ever noticed I don't know if this will rub off eh, maybe it will a little bit it's starting to look like I don't know if this is in focus or not if you guys can even see it but I think it's from making so much contact with the mat and swinging this nine so much it almost looks like the leading edge is getting scuffed up but I think that just might be residue from the mat it looks like a little bit's coming off don't want to be messing up my irons um, Seventh hole, still three over. We're kind of leveled out here. We gotta get a couple birds on the card. 406, par four, slight dog leg right. We're gonna go up towards a little bit this left side, down five yards as well. Stay away from that water if we can. Not very good contact, and that's going to be headed right. Alright, we got it to work. Down five yards. That's the furthest one he's hit so far, although it wasn't very good contact. I guess we'll take a look at those metrics real quick. Swung it at 106, 148 ball speed. 1.4 smash. Yeah, swung down. Negative attacking. We do not want that for the driver. That wasn't the best. And I still believe that uh, Garmin, I've been reading up on some of the uh, some of the forums and Facebook groups. Some people believe that. Um, I do not believe, as of right now, and maybe in the future, I think the club speed is just estimated from um, whatever the Garmin actually reads on the ball speed. So the R10 does a really good job with ball speed, even compared to like TrackMan and GC Quad, it's like right there for ball speed, it does a really good job with that, but I think based on their algorithm, they just kind of estimate your club speed, so I think it's a little low, um, but it kind of is what it is. Now it might have been closer to like 110. Um, 128 left, we're in the fairway, down one, 127, so I'm going to go pitching wedge. really heavy that's gonna be short hopefully it catches the front oh that's gonna be a plus three I think that sucks well there's another bogey that's not great that was pretty heavy on the mat that was pretty accurate with the garment on that reading but as I mentioned before 
I don't know if it's all maps specifically. I don't know if you guys experience the same thing like if you go to the driving range or if any of you have home setups here with simulators, but I know, at least for, in my case, this Country Club Elite mat, if you uh, catch it even a little bit heavy and you hit the mat first a little bit, it really grabs the club and slows it down. So, four over, eighth hole, par four. Pretty straight, we're gonna leave it there. If I can find a tee that's not broken. Pretty unfortunate, this is not the start we were looking for so far here. I played, put up some pretty good scores yesterday when I played, and it is not the case today, so typical hot and cold golf. Better contact, but that's gonna be headed left. Way left at that. 260 though. The rough, I'm sure, it killed that rollout. But... Alright. 118 left, up one, so we're at 119, plus we'll add another, call it 11, 12 yards, because we're in the rough, so um, 129, like 131. I'm gonna go full pitching wedge. Decent swing, decent contacts, but I popped it up. That's gonna have to go. All right, lucky bounce. Still left it a little short for my liking, but plus two, we were just on the edge, it looked like on that one, we'll take the par. Excuse me while I blow my nose. Ninth hole, par five, four over, 445 yards, relatively straight, slight dog leg right. We're gonna leave it right there, 259 down five. It's demoralizing, I'm starting to notice. Um, yesterday I was swinging it decent, had some decent drives that uh, basically, um, original line that Garmin has it, um, they take into account and they track all your pre previous uh, like tee shots second shots, third shots, etc., and they um, suggest a recommended line and distance. Usually it's right down the middle, but the distance, and I found that when I have a, like a week or two or even three, um, basically a period of where I'm swinging it well, that 259 where it has me um, starts to creep up towards 260, 270, and then when I start struggling for a little while, get into a, just a little bit of a slump with the driver, it starts getting back down towards like 240, 250, and we're in that so far, so. Hopefully we can get a few ones, not that that really matters, because if you hit one 200 or 300, it's going to reflect that anyways, but... There we go. Not super quick, but that was one of the better swings yet. That was good contact. And the distance reflected it. We'll take a look at that one. Again, not super quick, but the smash factor I would think would be up on that. Um, 264 carry, 284 total. We swung it at 105, 148 ball speed. Still a little bit low, but it's cold out here and I'm all bundled up. 1.4 smash, so creeping up there and then better attack angle on that one. All right, let's take advantage of this. Let's see if we can stick this green, maybe get a bird. 162 down three so we're at 159 um, that's either usually that would be upper end of my nine iron instead I'm gonna go s not even soft eight just smooth eight try to get a better swing make some better contact and hopefully get something relatively straight at the green if not maybe get lucky and get inside that inner circle Oh, 
Oh, my left foot slipped. That's going to be short left. That's unfortunate. When I started my downswing, my left foot slipped out. Well, good, good thing it's a par five. We got 25 yards left, down one. Uh, I'm going to go 56. So we need 24 yards here. Gonna take off just a little bit of mustard from my regular 30 yard shot with this club. We're still looking at, if we get it anywhere on the green, we're looking at a par inside that inner circle, looking at a birdie, I believe. Uh, that was kind of thin and left. That's gonna have to get down. All right, luckily it landed soft. We'll take the par. We'll see if uh, Rockstar Golf and uh, Scott Hogan end up joining in on this uh, Christmas extravaganza. They're pretty good players, so I may be in trouble. They may be taking the, uh, the cake and the bragging rights if I don't start turning things around here. So, 10th hole, we're four over through nine. 323. Flame up there. Decent contact again, but I think I hung that out to the right. Should be relatively straight, but probably gonna be right side. A little bit of a the shape of this hole helped us out a little bit, but 283, we'll take that. Better contact again. I can just tell as soon as I hit it. That was more towards the middle of the club face. Still obviously not perfect, that wasn't great, but better than it had been the first few drives. 57 yards left, down three, so we're at 54. I think I'm gonna go 52 degree and this time just put a little bit extra mustard on my regular 50 yard shot with this club. A little bit thin and left, I might have to get down. All right, decent distance. We got lucky with that bounce. Did we catch the inner circle? Yes, we did. We'll take that bird. First one today, I think. I mentioned it in one other video, but typical crazy New Englanders. If you know any other New Englanders in your life, friends or family, um, no matter what the temperature is, hot or cold, snowing out below zero, almost always iced coffee, and that's what I have over there. So it's only about, I think, maybe just under 40 degrees now. I think it got up to like 41, 42 today. Um, so probably somewhere low 40s, high 30s, but even that, still got the iced coffee. All right, three over now with that birdie. This is gonna be a little bit of a tricky tee shot here. This is narrow, we got trees both left and right. We gotta kinda of cut this corner a little bit. I guess we'll leave it there. We don't have a whole lot of options, so. 362 yard par four. We gotta keep this one straight off the tee. That was bad contact. That's not gonna be very far. I kind of popped that up into the right, maybe 250-ish if that. And yeah, not even, the rough killed it, but 242. That was not the best swing there. I was hoping I was gonna surprise myself, come out here and play really well with this stupid Yeti suit and then maybe keep it going, but that's not the case. So I think we're going back to normal for the next couple rounds or until next Christmas, I guess. Um, 
All right, second shot here. Let's see if we can stick the screen. 121 up two. So we're at 123, and then we'll need another 12, 13 yards. So um, 133, 135. So um, I guess we'll go full pitching wedge. I was debating going soft nine. Seems like we're getting decent distance because I got a basically full sweat going on underneath the suit. So let's see if we can get our full 130, 135 out of it. Hit that one that was really thin, 141. Not trying to do that, but. <sighs> Struck it decent. It's gonna be left. Should be close to the number. All right, short left, but we're on the green. Should be another par. So I know it said 113, but you gotta remember you gotta add the extra 12 yards, or whatever, from the rough. So that was like 125. Didn't didn't hit it great, but still that was about probably five, 10 yards short from what I'm used to hitting with that club because of the temperature, the suit, etc. You guys get the idea. All right, 12th hole. Par three, 142, down three. This time I'll take the uh, extra club, go. A little bit of a choke down, smooth nine iron. I really, really hope everything <laughs> records correctly and saves correctly, because I do not want to have to come back out here again and uh, put this suit on to play this again. Had heavy to the right. I didn't swing super hard at it. Go. Probably either should have grabbed, not choked down as far on that nine iron, or swung it a little harder. Not bad, but that wasn't wasn't great. We'll take the par though. All right, 13th hole, par four. Looks like we got some water on this one. I'm hoping, although not the best golf today, hoping at least the uh, funny outfit will at least get some views just for the optics of it. Oh, this is, okay, we gotta think about this one. What are we gonna do here? We got 327, 249 right there, but we got a lot of water. I'm not sure, I need 290 up there. 290 there, well. And there's trees on this right side. Can we go here? 302 there. Obviously, I'm not going to hit it 302. We're going to go here. We'll see. Obviously, 317, that's not... I'm not trying to hit that far. But this is the line I'm taking. Hopefully, I get enough to just get up and over that water. I need something like 260, 270, I think, to carry that. Or just to get up and over it. Hopefully, just catch the front. This could be... A pretty poor move here but I don't love laying up on par fours and par fives so we're gonna try to step on one a little bit see if we can get some Yeti power into this swing it's gonna be headed right that wasn't very good contact stay right stay right Better to be lucky than good, folks. The old slice worked to our advantage on that one. All right, let's take advantage of this lucky tee shot here. 62 yards left, we'll add another, we'll call it seven yards. So we're at 69, nice. Um, just gonna go choke down pitching wedge, see if we can flight something in there, right around 70 yards or so.
We'll see. There's a little left. Uh, oh, did it sit? 73 yards. Kind of swung at that one a little bit. I got a little scared over it. Wow. That was a generous plus two. That thing really stopped. That was lucky. Lucky tee shot. Lucky second shot. We'll take the par all day long. 14th hole. Par four. We're still three over. We'd like to get another couple birdies here if we can, but some of these trees, these are not exactly the easiest course here with all these big trees. And this is going to be another one that's cutting it close. I think I'm going to go a little bit further right, right there. Try to turn one over to the left. We got the trees running up the entire way that we need to clear on the left. And then once we're up there, um, we got trees to the right, right where we're aimed. So I'm not going to swing as much on that, on this one. Not that that really helped the last time. Probably would have been better off just to take a smoother swing, but That's headed right. Sit down. Luckily I didn't hit it that great, only 258, so I think we're, we're at least in play. We've got to look at it. Don't love this branch that's hanging out here, but what are we going to do here? Do I do a punch shot or do I go Maybe left side of this green. I think we, I might have to keep this one a little low. Um, so we're at 122. What do I need for yardage? 122 up one to 123 plus another 12, 13 yards. So 133, 135. Um, I think I'm going to go kind of lower. Uh, yeah, I'll go nine iron. Debating going punch eight, but... I think I'm just going to go kind of try to flight it a little bit lower and take kind of a fuller swing with my 9. Struck it decent. Sit, 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 sit. didn't see I looked I looked at it didn't see like any branches or leaves came out of that uh, pine tree so I think we cleared it pretty well that was good there decent shot from where we were all right 15th hole par 5 I'm in a full sweat underneath this thing I can feel my the arms all right 496 par 5 looking like uh, we go right and then left again. Not sure why it had us aimed so short, but we're going to go up here. Hopefully it's not one of these holes where it has a weird mapping glitch, but that's where we're going to go. I'm going to take a sip of Gatorade and coffee before I do this. Maybe in reality, it didn't have us that short. It's just I've had pretty bad swings the past couple drives. So like I was talking about before, maybe it's just bringing my recommendation yardage back down, which is, again, doesn't really matter, but it's kind of a barometer of how well I'm swinging my driver if I couldn't already tell, but kind of hurts a little bit. Hurts my feelings, Garmin. Better swing there. Still didn't hammer it, but get over the bunker. Alright. We're in play. Two thirty-five left, down four, so we're right at two thirty. Um usually I play my five hybrid to two twenty, two thirty. I think I'm gonna grab the extra club and go. Four hybrid, which usually I play to about 240. So I'm thinking if I don't catch this one great, 
Um, should be decent. There's a bunker up there. It looks like short. So. Don't read it. Don't read it. All right. That was so horrendous of a swing. Luckily, we get a mulligan on that. Sometimes you've seen that in past rounds. I'm going to give it a second to make sure it doesn't do it late. But on occasion, if you hit one so bad, it uh, doesn't even read it because that was such a horrendous swing. That, I don't even know if that made it to the net before I hit the mulch. That was terrible. Lucky break there. Let's not do that again. That was still pretty thin, but at least it was up there. Not great. Barely made contact with that, and I felt like it was on like the bottom, bottom groove of the club. 219. That was, from what I'm used to hitting this, that's like 20 yards short. That was just a warm burner up the right side. But par five, third shot here. Let's try to stick this green. 25 yards. Um, we'll add another three to it because we're in the rough. So looking at 28. Going 56 degree. Need a good shot here. All right, that should be right around 25, 30 yards, I would think. Relatively straight, it was a tad left. All right, we'll take it. Right in the inner circle, just left side. Garmin did a good job reading that one. That was exactly how it felt. That was probably a yard or two left. Maybe not even two, maybe just a yard left. We'll take the bird. Um, and that was right at, usually with that 56 degree, usually right where I choke down to my left thumb, right between the metal and the uh, rubber grip, right around here. Um, right along this yellow strip is right around my 30 yard shot for that so I knew that was gonna be relatively close all right got down to two over now but we've got trees all over the place this is a tricky tee shot hopefully we get this up and over 261 right there par 4 345 this could be a blow up hole if I don't get this up and over these trees off the tee but that's where it has its aimed those look like some pretty big pine trees, so we'll see. I'm gonna try to swing up on it just a little bit more without completely popping it up. Or just have the club twist in my hand to the right. That's gonna be into those trees. That might be a penalty. Go through. Keep going. Keep going. Yep. <sighs> That's probably going to bring me way back, too. <sighs> Struggling with the driver, folks. Well, that's going to be a penalty stroke, and we still got trees to worry about. So, we're right. We got two, the smaller pine tree that's moving in front of us. Plus, we got the big pine tree up front. So, I'm going to aim just a little bit left. We got 99 yards. No slope, but we're in the rough, so we'll add another 10 yards to that. So we're right at 109, 110. Gonna go pitching wedge. We need to get this on the green, if not inside the inner circle here, to uh, get a par with that penalty stroke. Pulled it left. Go! Alright, just rolled up. I think that'll be a bogey because of the penalty. We dropped the stroke. Yep. That's tough. Two holes left. Alright. 17th hole, par 5, we're 3 over. 
going to be embarrassing for my own mini tournament if I'm not even close to the top score. Plus, those, at, least, at least two of the guys are playing the forward tees, which is probably going to be a decent advantage. But All right, 271 there. we got a dog leg of right. I guess we'll leave it there, see what happens. The driver's swing is all over the place right now. Left, way left. Hopefully that's not another penalty. It might be. That was horrendous. Yep. <sighs> Two horrendous tee shots in a row. Two penalty strokes in a row. Now we still got trees to mess with and we're 330 yards away. So, three hybrid it is. The wheels are coming off here. Is there water up there too? Watch us put it right into the water. Send it left. Sit down. All right, at least it's dry. Pretty terrible swing again, but. Who knows what that was. It had a 196, but I think we were in the rough, so 10% um, of, it was probably an extra 30 yards on top of that, so 230 on the roll, still not great. That's like 30 yards short from where I'd like that club, but 140 left, down four, so we're at 136. I'm gonna go choke down nine iron. Stop trying to muscle up any of these clubs and pull off any miracles. Just smooth swing on the nine. A little bit thin, but that's relatively straight. See if I put enough on it. Nope. This is gonna be an ugly score here. All right, 14 yards, we're in the rough, add another two to it, so 16 yards, going 60 degree. Caught it a little thin, it might be a little long. Yeah. Does that stay inside the inner circle? It looked like it landed pretty soft. We'll need that plus one, all right. Bogey, I'll take that I guess after that. All right, final hole, par three. At least we don't have to subject myself and you guys to another ugly driver swing. We've got 180 down two, so we're at 178. Usually that's right between a eight and a seven. Usually pay my eight to about 170, 175, my seven to about 180. Um, I'm gonna go smooth six. Take the extra club based on how I've been swinging the past couple. And hopefully we stick this green with the extra club. Usually my six is like 190, so this is a good 10, 12 yards extra. And we'll see how far I'm able to get this. Thin and left. That wasn't a very good strike. Probably right into the bunker. Is he going to give us the green? Probably not. Uh, plus three. Yikes. That was a bogey to finish it. 
Not the best there, folks. Kept it in the 70s, but I'm gonna grab some Gatorade real quick before we go over this. So, here we go. I don't really want to look at this, but um, we're going to do it from Tromso Golf Park. And I think it's uh, Tromso, Norway. It's in Norway, so the furthest most course in the world for uh, your Christmas Day video here. We ended up with a 5 over 76. So, we fell apart definitely on the last three holes. We were playing a little bit better on the back nine, but we went 39 on the front, 37 on the back. We actually had a decent score going on the back before uh, 16, 17, and 18. That was kind of tough. But 5 out of 13 fairways, pretty bad, um, below 50%. Also, greens and regulation, pretty bad, um, below 15% with, uh, or below 50%, rather, with 8 out of 18. We want to be at least, for the fairways, probably 7. We want to be at least 50% for the fairways and greens and re regulation, and with the goal being 75%. So um, a good amount short with that. Luckily, the putts actually weren't too bad. There was a few three putts, I know, but we had a good amount of one putts, luckily, which saved us on some of these holes. This could have easily been an extra five strokes on top of that if we didn't get uh, some of those lucky bounces and whatnot with the, uh, the plus one inner circle. But 26 putts across 18 holes, that's actually not bad. That's uh, right around one and a half where we'd like to be. So, um, I don't know, kind of a mixed bag performance here. There were a few decent shots. Some pretty horrendous shots like those last couple driver swings on 16 and 17. Just penalty strokes right off the tee is not great. But um, it is what it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the, uh, the goofy outfit for the Christmas Day video. Um, I think I'm going to do a hashtag of maybe like um, HTH for Home Tee Hero Xmas or something like that. So it's going to be in the title. Just click the hashtag and I'm going to try to see if the other people that put up the videos can do the same uh, hashtag so you guys will be able to see. Um, everyone that's played this this course for Christmas Day, it should be fun to uh, go see how everyone else did. But um, whoever else does it, go check out their channels. Um, I enjoyed playing it. It was something different. Not the best golf, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to take this stupid suit off, go inside and warm up. Hopefully, I'm really hoping this isn't one of those rounds where, uh, um, similar to the random club challenge I did at St. Andrews, it was kind of one of those where it messed up my game from doing some random kind of shots. I feel like, we, granted we were hitting regular shots, but this suit hopefully is not going to mess me up going forward for the next few rounds, but um, played really well yesterday, not so great today. So hopefully if I take a day or two off or whatever, come out and uh, pick back up again with some better scores. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I really appreciate it. And uh, again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I'll see you guys in the next video and at the next course.